Hello, Gorange's are on view yet again, this time for our sale on the 21st of February. And as ever, an interesting lot to take in. I uh, thought we'd have a little poke about the picture section first of all. There's a run of interesting etchings. Come up and see my etchings, they used to say. And um, they kind of etchings rather drifted out of fashion, but certain artists remain in demand. Um, this is Henry Rushbury. Uh, it's a view of Rome, it's rather nice there. Um, I don't know if we've got a date on it, probably around about 1900, 1910. Uh, lot 606, that is. Um, it's uh, Monte Avantino in Rome, no less. Uh, from the same collection is a more contemporary etching there. That one's by George Mackley. The, uh, the House by the Lake is the title. Uh, limited run of 75. He signed and numbered it. Most of these etchers do in pencil. That's lot 607. I think we're looking at about two to three hundred pounds here. Otherwise, Dan's been busy and one of his jobs he's been doing, lot 623. Got a run of these. John Yardley. We, we sort of gawped at the signature for a while before eventually working out what it was. Uh, John Yardley, a bit like Edward Sego, this sort of nice light um, touch. Trevor Chamberlain, another artist sort of working in that manner. Um, round about the sort of 150, 200 pound mark, I think that will be. Carrying on down the line, Joe's also been busy. He's been looking at Whistler prints. So there's a Whistler etching. The, uh, the uh, I'm trying to remember, the, the, the mustard seller, that one. And, and there are various states involved. We don't think he's um, identified which state that is. Can you, can you get that in the camera? Yeah. It's yes. Just the, yeah, it's the Reflection. Mm -hmm. Nice little title plaque down the bottom. Okay. And depending on state, sort of which edition it was so to speak effects value but that's sort of three to four hundred i think we're looking at there lot 620 there's another whistler one down here la mer gerard lot 621 uh more john yardley at the top here 619 and 613 further down if you want a larger one something different you fancy going shooting at the weekend well uh that looks rather smart doesn't it this looks very much like a sporting gun it's a re-offer so it's got 278, it's going to be less money. I think it's a sort of hang on the wall and look at piece rather than uh, anything else. But a uh, little elegant sporting gun, that. What else can we find to show you? Um, well, decoy ducks, Fazone vases, uh, a whole run. Sleepy dogs. Sleeping dogs, yeah, Sunday morning this we're doing this. Sunday morning, good grief. Uh, another artist who, again, got that look. Roy Petley, a bit like Seago again, this time an oil on canvas. It looks very much like Norfolk Broads to me, or I think I've seen that tower. That tower's distinctive. I should know where that is. But anyway, that's lot 593. Which I think we're looking at sort of three to 500 there for Roy Petley. Then in the line, well, the Chinese things keep on making money, and, and some of them make remarkable money. Um, and there's a whole collection, as ever, of different levels and ages of Chinese works that uh, are there for you to look at. Uh, I'm going to nip round the corner here. Sort of, yeah, view the shelves, see what, see what you can see out in the back of your eye there. Um, coming back down here, more art. Lot 577. 577, that's a Salvador Dali. Beautiful, isn't it? The, the Nude O Voilettes, the Nude with Veils, okay. that is called. Limited edition of 300. And uh, again, I think we're looking about a sort of three, four hundred pound estimate there. 577. There's some repainted old oil cans. Uh, there's um, walking sticks. Fair run of toys as well in this cell. I think it's 370. This caught me. I mean, God, blimey, that's a that's a basic toy, isn't it? It's, it's Bakelite. It's got a made in England stamp. I'm sure someone knows who who made that. You know, quite nice lines in it. Very American, looking like a cord or something. But um, that's in with some Britain's toys and other bits and pieces. There's also a rummage lot of what look like dinkies and corgis there. Lots 372. Every now and then these throw up a nice surprise because you get something in there that's a bit unusual or got an unusual colourway or, or something along those lines. Uh, I like this lot. It's caught my eye. 350. Look at that lovely Regency bronze and marble inkwell, ink stand with the pen holders or quill holders, your inkwell and your pounce pot. Uh, in with Quite a nice candlestick as well, bronze and ormolu. So, lot 350, like those. I think they do quite well. Excuse me, dog. Thank you. Um, otherwise, oh, what else do I spot? Something oh, a bit different here. This looks like mailing web. It's not. This is actually Minton. And most of these are uh, porcelain factories. Once someone cottoned on to a sort of style, the others would jump on board. And it's very much a case of Minton copying other factories. But they've done it quite well there. Nice luster to it. Lot 344. More toys. Lot 341. These are Crescent toys. 
and uh, nicely cast and very nice condition these unless they've been repainted I don't know an expert will be able to tell you but uh, a whole run of them here we've got in this one yep there we go that looks to be in very good order and a whole lot of them all with their boxes got 341 so that's nice across the way uh, drifting down here what do I see how about that nice watch holder there 487 carved gilt wood uh, replacement quartz mechanism in there, but you can drop a pocket watch in, it'll look rather nice. Um, you can see it's been sort of boxed in at the back there now, but uh, it could be adapted, I'm sure. Um, yeah, that's fun. 487, something a little bit different. Uh, there's, what else have I got to show you? It's dinner services, as ever. Oh, here, more, pit, more art. Jose Vice this time. Nice artist. Uh, working sort of mid 19th century through to around about 1906, I think he died. Um, this looks to me like it might be Lewis, the, these cliffs here and uh, what have you, but it's got a nice touch, sort of semi-impressionist look to it. That is lot 558. Should you buy it, you will find you also get this oil with it, with a hole in, um, yes, yes uh, that, that you have to take away. You can't leave it with us and say, oh, I don't want that. You can you re-offer it for me, because I'm afraid we can't. Sorry. <laughs> uh, how about a bronze Augustus Caesar? Oh. A bust. He's, um, yeah, he doesn't quite fit his sockle or something's gone missing in between. But it sort of looks apart. Uh, lot 432, Augustus Caesar, or a Japanese sword. It's all here as ever. Lot 434, look at that. Japanese signed on the scabbard as well as on the blade and numbered, I guess, suggesting it was sort of a military issue. Uh, so perhaps First World War era. Uh, so there we go. Good mixture of uh, things in the smalls. Um, but we'll go and play what's in the warehouse now and see what we can find. So here we are in the warehouse, and what's in the warehouse? Well, um, I thought these were rather nice. These are a lot 81, a set of six of these sort of arts and crafts, oak dining chairs with rush seats, little bit of damage or missing strands, please note, but they've got character and they're still solid enough to use. A little bit of wobble in the frames, but you'd have a wobble in your frame if you were 100 years old. Um, yeah, lot 81, quite like those, they're, they're, they're rather nice. Uh, then drifting down, what can we find? Well, the usual sort of this, you know, a George III mahogany chest on chest. Some people call them tall boys. Uh, could do with a bit of love and attention, couldn't it? Could do with a nice polish up and a few little areas of damage, but still good solid piece of furniture. Lot 119 there. As ever, garden furniture, still got that going on. Lot 113, this sort of teak bench set. There's not a bad mirror, nice decorative mirror, that 126 carved gilt wood. Please note, a little bit of loss there. There's always, very rarely are things perfect. You always have to remember that with auction. We still get people who will say, oh, I bought this and it's got X wrong with it, or that missing, or woodworm, or what have you. Well, well always ask us and we'll, we'll have a look for you and let you know what's wrong. Uh, otherwise, it is a bit of a case of buyer beware. There's a nice early Victorian mirror. Rosewood frame, nice parcel gilt slip, later insert, probably may not have started life as a, a mirror frame, 135. Otherwise, nice slender cupboard here. This looks Edwardian. You know, as soon as you see this sort of tone of mahogany and satin with banding and stringing, think Edwardian. It's got 137. No idea what's inside. It's quite narrow. Shelves. There we go. Yes, what's nice about that is that A, it's narrow, mm. and B, it's not too deep. So, uh, useful thing just to sort of squeeze away into a little knick-knacky corner and house one's books or whatever else in. There's a few long case clocks as ever. That's got 142. Looks to me to be sort of... 1830, 1840, I suppose. So again, we're still struggling with these unless they're by a particularly good maker or do something very clever. Uh, but that's 142. Uh, down the bottom, I like this dragon, he's fun. 143 here. Um, very much the sort of ridge tile you see at the end of, end of a row on a rooftop or that, that sort of thing. And uh, seems to be in pretty good order. A bit weathered, but it's otherwise good. good. And then he's next door to um, lot 144, the Buddha. We've got a pixie, we've got a sort of little little animal with wings here, um, 145, and a very underfed dog, like 146, yeah. which I think we'd all feel a bit sad about, really, and mm. not quite sure. There we go. Uh, otherwise, right at the back here, <laughs> cockerel. should you need a large cast iron cockerel, you come to the right place, or chicken, chicken or cockerel? Cockerel. Cockerel, like 151, there we are. That's seriously solid. You need a good set of springs to get that home. Uh, there's some pots behind, more mirrors, barometers, garden furniture, stalls, and a whole host of stuff that's just arrived and we need to sort out and get into another cell. So as ever, lots to come and look at. There's curtains, there's carpets, 
wall shelves, occasional tables, you name it, we've got it. So come along and have a look. And um, otherwise, have a look at the website as usual. Get ready. We'll be talking to you about the fine sale soon. Some good things going on with that. Um, Agatha Christie's personal book collection and, oh, George Brack paintings of lemons, all sorts of things. So uh, be informing you in due course. But in the meantime, keep, keep calm and carry on with the weekly sale. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.